Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few problems on caselets in the topic data interpretation. Since questions based on this topic are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand and practice as many questions as possible. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Study the following information carefully and answer the questions given. Kishan invested some money under 20% per annum simple interest in Axis Bank. At the end of one year, he withdrew the full amount from Axis Bank and invested in Bandhan Bank at the rate of R% per annum under compound interest, compounded annually for two years and received Rs. 57,600 as total interest from Bandhan Bank. The first year's interest at Bandhan Bank was Rs. 24,000. Now, based on all the information given in this uh, caselet, you have to answer the given question. Now, since data is represented here in the form of a paragraph, extracting data and establishing the relationships between the different data values becomes a bit difficult. So, First, read the given information and organize the given information to solve the questions. So first, let's do a common interpretation of the information given in this uh, caselet and then use that common interpretation to solve the given questions. Now we know that Simple interest is equal to principal multiplied by time multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100. Also, simple interest plus principal is equal to amount. Now, let the sum of money Kishan invested in Axis Bank for one year at the rate of 20% per annum simple interest be X. Then, at the end of one year, amount is equal to simple interest plus principal. So amount is equal to x multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 divided by 100 plus x. On solving this, we get interest, uh, we get the amount as uh, 120x divided by 100. Now Kishan invests this amount in Bandhan Bank for two years under uh, compound interest at the rate of R% percent per annum. Now at Bandhan Bank, it's given that uh, Kishan receives Rs. 57,600 as total interest for two years. Also, it's given that the first year's interest at Bandhan Bank is Rs. 24,000. Now the difference here 57,600 minus 24,000 which is 33,600 is the second year's interest at Bandhan Bank. So the first year's interest at Bandhan Bank is Rs. 24,000 and second year's interest at Bandhan Bank is Rs. 33,600. As you can see, there is a difference of interest in the two years. This difference is because the money is under compound interest at Bandhan Bank. If it was simple interest, then the interest would have been the same for the two years. Now, this increase in the interest in the second year is because the principal also has increased in the second year. You know that under compound interest, the principal for the second year is equal to principal of the first year plus interest of the first year. Thus, the difference in the interest in the two years is due to the interest on the first year's interest. So, 33,600 minus 24,000 is 9,600. This 
9600 is the interest on the first year's interest now at bandhan bank it's given that the rate of interest is r percent per annum so at r percent per annum rupees 24000 gives an interest of rupees 9600 now we know that interest is equal to principal multiplied by time multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100 so 9600 is equal to 24000 multiplied by 1 multiplied by r divided by 100 on solving this we get the rate of interest as 40 percent per annum that is the rate of interest at bandhan bank is 40 percent per annum now we have found out that the rate of interest at bandhan bank is 40 percent so at 40 percent per annum uh, the amount 120x by 100 invested in bandhan bank by kishan gives an interest of rupees 24000 in the first year note that even under compound interest the first year's interest is nothing but simple interest now we know that simple interest is equal to principal multiplied by time multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100 on substituting the values in this formula we have 24000 is equal to 120x multiplied by 1 multiplied by 40 divided by 100 multiplied by 100 on solving this we get x is equal to 50000 so sum of money kishan invested in axis bank is rupees 50000 and sum of money Kishan invested in Bandhan Bank is 120x by 100. Substituting the value of x here, we get 120 multiplied by 50,000 divided by 100, which is nothing but rupees 60,000. So Kishan invested rupees 60,000 in Bandhan Bank. Now, finally, we have got this common interpretation sum of money kishan invested in axis bank for one year under simple interest is rupees 50000 rate of interest at axis bank is 20 percent per annum sum of money kishan invested in bandhan bank for two years under compound interest is rupees 60000 rate of interest in bandhan bank is 40 percent per annum at bandhan bank the total interest uh, received by Kishan for two years is rupees 57,600. The first year's interest at Bandhan Bank is rupees 24,000. Now, using all this information uh, in the common interpretation, let's solve the given problems. Based on the information given, in this common interpretation of the data collected from the caselet, let's answer the given question. Totally, how much interest did Kishan get from Axis Bank and Bandhan Bank combined? You are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now we know that the interest Kishan received from Axis Bank is sim uh, simple interest which is nothing but principal multiplied by time multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100. From the information given in the common interpretation, we know that uh, the principal is uh, 50,000, time is 1 year and rate of interest is 20%. Substituting all these values in the formula here, we get the interest Kishan received from Axis Bank is equal to 50,000 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 divided by 100, which is nothing but rupees 10,000. Also, it's given that the total interest uh, Kishan got from Bandhan Bank is rupees 57,600. So, the required sum is 10,000 plus 57,600, which is 67,600. So, 
totally kishan got rupees 67600 uh, as interest from axis bank and bandhan bank combined so the correct answer is option b 67600 based on the information in the common interpretation of the data given uh, collected from the uh, given caselet let's answer the given question if the rate of interest was interchanged that is axis bank had offered r percent per annum simple interest and bandhan bank had offered 20% per annum compound interest then how much less money kishan would have received at the end of 3 years you are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now from the common interpretation we get that axis bank interest is 20% axis bank principal is 50000 rupees invested for one year under simple interest bandhan bank principal is rupees 60000 invested for two years under compound interest bandhan bank interest is 40% per annum and the total interest from bandhan bank is rupees 57600 now the first year interest at axis bank received by uh, kishan is a simple interest which is nothing but principal multiplied by time multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100 on substituting the values in uh, this formula we get simple interest is equal to 50000 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 divided by 100 on solving this we get simple interest received by Uh, kishan at axis bank is rupees 10000 now we know that the total amount of interest received by kishan at bandhan bank is 57600 so now the total interest received by kishan for the 3 years is 10000 plus 57600 which is rupees 67600 now if the rate of interest was interchanged then the rate of interest for first year at axis bank would be 40% per annum simple interest and the rate of interest for the next two years at bandhan bank would be 20% per annum compound interest so the first year at axis bank simple interest would be is equal to principal multiplied by time multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100 which is nothing but 50000 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 40 divided by 100 on solving this we get the simple interest uh, received in the first year at axis bank is equal to rupees 20000 now the principal for bandhan bank would be equal to uh, principal at axis bank plus interest at axis bank so principal for bandhan bank is equal to rupees 50000 plus rupees 20000 which is rupees 70000 now two years at bandhan bank now this amount of rupees 70000 is invested for two years at bandhan bank under compound interest now we know that compound interest is equal to principal multiplied by 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power of t minus 1 substituting the values in this formula we get compound interest is equal to 70000 multiplied by 1 plus 20 by 100 raised to the power 2 minus 1 on solving this we get the compound interest as rupees 30800 so now we know that the simple interest uh, received in the uh, first year at axis bank is rupees 20000 and the compound interest received at bandhan bank is rupees 30800 after the interchange of rate of interest so now the total interest for the 3 years is 20000 plus 30800 which is 
rupees 50,800. So now the required difference is equal to 60,000. 67,600 minus 50,800 which is nothing but 16,800. So uh, Kishan received rupees 16,800 uh, 16, less at the end of three years. So the correct answer is option A 16,800. Based on the information in the common interpretation of the data um, from the given caselet, let's answer the given question. If Kishan had invested the sum of money only in Axis Bank for three years under 20% per annum simple interest, then at the end of three years, total how much simple interest he would have received from Access bank. You are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now it's given in the problem that Access bank interest is 20% per annum and the amount invested is for a duration of three years. Now from the common interpretation we know that principal invested in Access bank is rupees 50,000. So simple interest at the end of three years is equal to principal multiplied by time multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100. On substituting the values in this formula, we get simple interest is equal to 50,000 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 20 divided by 100. On solving this, we get simple interest as rupees 30,000. So Kishan would have uh, received a simple interest of rupees 30,000 from Axis Bank at the end of three years. So the correct answer is option B, rupees 30,000. Based on the information in the common interpretation of the data from the given caselet, let's answer the given question. If the first year's interest at Bandhan Bank was the same as the simple interest received from Axis Bank at the end of one year and the rate of interest for Bandhan Bank remained constant, then what would be the rate of interest for Axis Bank? You are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now from the common interpretation, we get that the principal at Axis Bank is rupees 50,000. Rate of interest in Bandhan Bank is 40% per annum. Now let the interest received from Axis Bank at the end of one year be rupees X. Then first year principal at Bandhan Bank would be rupees 50,000 plus X. Now the first year's interest at Bandhan Bank is equal to principal multiplied by time multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100. On substituting the values in this formula, we get that first year's interest at Bandhan Bank is equal to 50,000 plus X multiplied by 1 multiplied by 40 divided by 100. Now it's given that the first year's interest at Bandhan Bank was same as the simple interest received from Axis Bank at the end of one year. This means X is equal to 50,000 plus X multiplied by 1 multiplied by 40 divided by 100. On cross multiplication and solving, we get X is equal to 1 lakh divided by 3. Now here we are asked to find the rate of interest for Axis Bank. We know the uh, Formula for rate of interest is R is equal to simple interest multiplied by 100 divided by principal multiplied by time. Now we know that the simple interest for Axis Bank is 1 lakh divided by 3. The principal for Axis Bank is rupees 50,000. Time is 1 year. Substituting all these values in this formula, we get R is equal to 
1 lakh multiplied by 100 divided by 3 divided by 50,000 multiplied by 1. On solving this, we get R is equal to 200 divided by 3, which is nothing but 66, 2 by 3 percent. So the rate of interest for Axis Bank is 66, 2 by 3 percent. So the correct answer is option C, 66, 2 by 3 percent. Viewers, please go through this video till you have understood the concept. Practice more such problems to increase your speed and also to understand the concept clearly. Also, do watch our videos on ratio, average, percentage, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, etc. for a thorough understanding of the topics which will make it easier for you to solve data interpretation problems. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.